Hello guys, um, I'm doing a soft speaking or mukbang. Actually, I think this would uh, kind of go under a mukbang because I have two duck legs and one whole bag of Brussels sprouts that are covered in duck fat and salt and pepper. So I, I don't, I really don't think I'm able to eat all of this, but I'm gonna try. Mmm, so good, salty, tasty, greasy, so simple, sort of healthy. And super easy to make. So good. Just this Brussels, Brussels sprouts are actually so good. Now let's see about this. I would, I don't know how to eat this. I'm used to eating chicken, but how would I eat a duck leg? Because okay, I think you wouldn't eat it like this. Oh well. So I take it most of you saw that Suave Boom, my burrito, my, my cutie pie is back on YouTube. And if you didn't see it, you can go watch it. I got, well, I got, you know, a couple of people. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you in the comments say how he wants to eat his cake and or have his cake and eat it too. Whereas we haven't had the what are we conversation we haven't well we haven't publicly officially agreed on anything relationship wise. Which is true. No, somebody in the comments said just because she's not pressuring you doesn't mean she doesn't think about it or that she wouldn't want, want it to be discussed. That is also true. I would be the I would be the happiest girl in the world. If I could officially call him mine, and if he would officially call me his, that I don't need to have that conversation. Because the thing is, I feel secure enough in us, in what I know, in what we have planned more than you would think, in what we've experienced, not only in your lineage but before and after. So, I would say it like this, I have no reason to question whether or not he's mine. However, I don't want to pressure him 
to make a decision that he might regret or that he's not 100% sure of the label and I because I don't mind waiting so be it I'm not gonna ruin this by doing something that I'm supposed to demand at this point this is by the way the fat I'm not eating the fat is there meat in it ha ah, I think there's meat um so yeah yes I would be ready to have the discussion and no in general I do not recommend people to think or sell themselves short there's nothing sexier nothing more respectful than a man who claims you officially and happily but until he does that on his own it's not worth it it's not worth it for you to suggest that like you wouldn't propose yourself you wouldn't suggest or I wouldn't suggest a marriage for example to my man and pressure him into marrying me what good is that that's nothing that means nothing if he doesn't want to marry me on his own then it's not worth it and that's the same thing here but if we cut the bullshit we have two people not dating anybody else talking to each other okay let's just say two people who like each other have other strong feelings for each other talking to each other every single day not dating anybody else planning their future together in the long run too well in the short run too who knows but so far planning their future together not even having the one to date other people like not it's not something we decided it just naturally happened but hey we're not officially together I mean cut the bullshit <laughs> cut the bullshit Berto if you're watching which he probably isn't no he's not my boyfriend but we are this and this and this and this and this so it's just one of those things oh I think I didn't finish my sentence so I don't promote people waiting forever for their man to claim them but at the same time take into consideration that situations are different people are different and instead of going by the principle oh he hasn't done this and this and this so let me move on take into consideration what he has done if he has something that's making it really hard for him to take certain steps and he has taken a massive pile of steps it doesn't really matter if he still needs a little bit more time for the little step or don't ruin everything but at the same time if he doesn't have any reasons why he's waiting that's another story so I just had to put that out there because honestly when I was watching his video I was like this is not the person I met in New Orleans like this is the YouTube pen um, and I told him that too I told him you're different on the video which I get and I'm not gonna get into details but yeah so we are planning on a vacation in London nobody else is invited don't get excited We're not going to have a meetup, probably, at least at this moment, I don't want to, because I already
already get to spend so little time with him. So why would I want to share that with strangers or even some my uh, some my friends? You know, no, I'm sorry. I might change my mind. You might change your mind. We might not end up in London. Obviously, a lot of things can happen, but. I'm tired of being overly cautious and things are really good even even when we have little bumps on the road things still <laughs> tend to be really good and I just I feel we're blessed and I'm, I actually haven't talked about this either but I've been going to church I've kind of a bit of a journey since the beginning of the year and I don't care what you believe in whether you or not you believe in faith or the universe karma God other gods you know whatever God um, whatever you believe in there is something even if you believe in luck, there is, there has been so many signs, like literally signs, pointing towards good things. At that, you know, I can no longer overlook it. Well, it could be that I'm opening my eyes since the beginning of the year or whatever, but I think it's really important. No matter what you believe in, that you start saying thank you for all the good things that you have. And you don't demand anything from life. You thank life or whoever for all the good things you have. And all the good things that you might get in the future really helps with having the right outlook on life. I don't know. All I can say is by doing that alone, my life has really just been amazing. I can't really explain it. duck meat so much better than chicken meat for sure <laughs> so much fattier so yeah I guess I talked enough of or about my personal life and I mentioned a lot of things that I would not even mention uh, in general Uh, it's still really hard to be see I ditched the four um, relying on just the phone with somebody that you connected with so freaking easily it felt so right so natural um, and then you're stuck on the phone again and the f I I'll tell you this much it's the phone that causes a lot of issues sometimes not a lot but a lot of misunderstandings a lot of <sighs> communication issues because you're relying on the phone alone it causes so many more um, things to take into consideration that I never thought would be a, um, a factor but they are being on the phone with somebody can make you or break you. It'll definitely separate the, the people who are not good for each other because or from the people that can make it through despite the phone.
because the frozen hard hard in a way easy to it's easy to get to know somebody but damn all the connect the connection is 100 times well not 100 times it's 10 times better when you get to see somebody on a face to face so if you have an amazing connection through phone or via phone expect great things but when you go back to the phone like in my case acknowledge that a lot of things that might bother you or frustrate you or whatever are caused by the fact that you don't get to see the person in the in real life that's just something i've noticed that i really didn't think was that big of a deal it really is I don't, well, to me at least, that's how I view things. This isn't the ultimate truth, according to Josh Hickory. Alright. The fat is so delicious, but there's so much of it. Mm. Mm. So that was the duck. Or done. And... Almost done. Mm. Okay. I think I'll save this Brussels sprite for tomorrow's dinner for something. Bye, guys. What a rant. Um. Yeah. I hope I didn't offend anybody or speak out of or speak about things that I shouldn't have mentioned but I think I did you know pretty good so see you guys bye how do I press the button my hands are so greasy pinky press Eek.